people are gathering to try to get out. The government has declared a state of national calamity. The houses are gone. The shacks are gone. The scale of the disaster has overwhelmed the government there. Ten million people affected by so this. We only need is food, also clean water and shelter. We need to find any solution. After the typhoon hit, I can't even contact my family. First I thought it was, I said, okay, it's going to be okay tomorrow. And then tomorrow led to another day and another day. We see the situation in the Philippines, especially in Cebu and Visayas, that people are no more to eat, they are so hopeless. What we didn't expect is the, the, the aftermath, how, how big the damage will be. You couldn't reach most of the areas because it's it's just not possible. And how big it is and how, how many, and it's just overwhelming. It's, 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 it's big, I mean. In my brain it was, how is my family doing? Are they still alive? Um, it's been, you know, more than four days, five days. I still haven't heard from them. I was angry. My initial reaction was anger. When we saw the pictures in uh, Facebook and uh, and the TV, you know, our hearts just you know went went out to everybody in uh, the Philippines. My initial reaction was, oh my goodness, do I still have anything to return to? A few of us had had a burning burden to do something. And we think that we don't, you know, how do we start? We, we tried to set up a plan anyway. Okay, help. Define help. We can send as much money as possible. We can send as much goods as possible. Is it even going to help? The government was so focused on something political. They have no evacuating plan. They have no readiness. And they have no solution. This is the government of the Philippines. People who need the help are getting it fast enough or or you're not even sure if they're getting it. Let's say, for example, in Tacloban, they can't even move the dead bodies yet because they're waiting for directives from the national government to tell them when to bury the body, where to bury the body. They could have done more in letting down the people. It's just, it's just, it's just shame. What if these government people do their meetings in Tacloban? They plan there so they can smell the stench of death. The biggest typhoon here is the government. You know, we've been to several revolutions, but the corrupt and, and the, you know, cheating officials remained in the office, you know? Okay, how can we help? How can we make sure that, you know, uh, uh, things will go to wherever they need to be? These people have nothing, nothing, and, and, and you still get those goods from them? Come on. I believe that it's in, in our character to want to trust the government. But in order for us to trust you guys, you have to show us that you're actually doing something for us. You know, it's within the Filipino character to, to kind of forgive and say, okay, we'll give you another chance. Even without the government, people are moving there now. Uh, because they, they've seen the countrymen just, just suffering. We collect some donations, cars, and then some items, clothes, and then canned goods. And then this morning we pack it, and then uh, it's free of charge, the, the, the boxes. I'm organizing this, this jam for a cause. Welcome to uh, Peel Fresco tonight for this jam for a cause. We're all here to raise some money for the Philippines. And the people I know and the, the bars that I know and the other live music venues, I know, they do something. They did something right away. This is not the time to blame people. This is not the time to compete whether we're doing better than, than the other. This is the time that we need to stay united. <laughs> I'm just posting the Facebook that this is the time that we can help our fellow men in the Philippines. They need our help. We just bring our goods, our canned goods, or everything that can be sent to the Philippines. The, the school building, 
um, I will personally go there and, and make sure that this this yeah this this is gonna reach there. It's a calling. It's a calling to wake up and help your fellow man. That's all it is. My friend Jan, she she has some relatives there, and she's going there soon to personally deliver um, goods and make sure that these people will get what they deserve. What's the important thing about this is um, the message of hope. If they're doing corruption, and then we have to show them that uh, there is also a good side. And thank you so much for supporting um, this uh, high-end relief. Um, this one goes to my fellow Filipinos. So while we were gathering donations, we started asking for help through the radio program, and then we also did uh, the, the shows here in Central. Well, after the typhoon, a couple of days later, in a WhatsApp message, um, we decided to put together a group of us, of friends, uh, to create help so that we can uh, reach out to the, directly to the areas that was devastated by the typhoon. These are Filipino artists. All of them are Filipino artists. They're very kind to donate, um, I think, 15 paintings tonight. They're all over the, the room, as you can see. We, we've met so many people that have been so inspiring over the last few weeks. We felt that it has to be our responsibility. Do it. Sing or play with, with some purpose. If there's only a little bit to share, then we will share it. That's our nature. I mean, remember this moment because this is the moment when you and we, we all help each other, and the government didn't come through for us. The donors will never meet the person that they helped in the Philippines, but surely, even for just a, a short few minutes in their lives, they will remember that hey, a stranger from another country is thinking about me right now. Kababayan, um, uh, this disaster has really saddened all of us here in Hong Kong, and uh, we are trying our best to help out. Kahit na nandito kami, um, tibayan yun lang po yung kalooban niyo. Um, makakaraos din po tayo, tulong tulong. Um, all the best and. Bangon po tayo, kaya natin yan. Um, ang Pinoy matatag, malakas, at sana po yung pananalig natin sa Diyos andyan palagi. And He will never let us down. Um, just rise up and we'll help each other. Uh, and together we can overcome this. Salamat po. Let's not lose hope. Let's keep praying because we know better things are coming. And yeah, we we hear uh, we as a Filipino um, Filipino citizen but lives in Hong Kong are willing to help. And yeah, we will try our best to help as much as we can. And yeah, let's not lose hope. And yeah, God is here. My uh, adlaw sa among mga exoons, sa among mga friends, dera sa Visayas. Uh, from all of us here in Hong Kong, gikan sa among tanong diri, uh, ayaw mo uh, kabalaka, uh, we hope na ang inyong nga faith na aragi hapon, and uh, you are inspiring to us, and uh, um, always remember na hindi po kayo nag-iisa, at uh, nasa panalangin po namin kayo lagi. Uh, para po sa ating mga kababayan dyan sa Visayas, ang uh, ipinakita niyo po sa aming uh, strength and determination after all of the devastation uh, has been inspiring. Um, alam niyo po lahat ng mga kababayan natin dito sa Hong Kong eh, talaga pong uh, nagkaisa para lang po makapagbigay ng kahit konting tulong sa ating mga kabayan sa Visayas. Kaya po uh, gusto ko lang pong sabihin sa ating mga kabayan sa Visayas na Again, uh, just stay strong at uh, wag po kayong mag-aalala. Kahit pa paano, in, 
tayong mga Pilipino po ang magtutulungan at uh, hopefully marami po pong tutulong ang darating sa inyo galing sa ating mga kabayan. So mag-ingat po kayo lagi ang God bless. Sa aming mga kababayan sa Visayas at uh, buong bansa, uh, huwag po kayo mawala ng pag-asa kasi po may mga kababayan kayong uh, susuporta sa inyo. At uh, sana po matutunda tayo, we should learn how to choose government leaders and officials who have genuine uh, heart to help. Uh, alam niyo na po ang epekto na itong bagyo na ito. Sana ay naging lesson to para sa ating lahat ng mga Pilipino. Hindi lang sa Bisaya, but the entire Filipino community around the world should learn this lesson that it's time for us to change. Remember that you are not alone. That all of us everywhere are praying for you, are doing what we can to help you, have great faith because our love is with you, our prayers are with you. God bless you all. Don't forget to ask, to ask and pray to God because uh, that's the only way for we have and don't lose your faith that because uh, as what they said, uh, today is is today. Uh, today is not the end of the of our life, right? There's still a there's still a lot of time a cutting so that uh, we can survive all the problems, all the calamities we encounter. All I can say is that you are not alone, and we have a lot of people who are praying for you and fighting for you. And um, one thing that fuels us is, is that we believe in the power of the Filipino. We believe in the compassion of the Filipino. We know, we, we, we believe in the faith of Filipinos. This is something that we have learned from our nation of the Philippines. And that's something that continues to um, inspire us. And that, will, that is what's going to get us to stand together and help each other. My Filipino pride exceeds, uh, you know, cannot be measured by distance, space, time, whatever. Um, I'm still very proud, though I'm in Hong Kong, I still love the Philippines because without the Philippines, the freedom that the motherland has given our parents, we wouldn't even be here in Hong Kong. So that's why we care about that. And here in Hong Kong, um, of course, we're near each other. We're always going to support you, the, the development of the, of the country, um, you know, um, Kudos to, uh, to all the Filipinos who have been doing such an amazing work for the country. I, I salute you all. Um, so I think you know, it, it inspires us more to be better Filipinos, not just in the Philippines, but uh, in the whole world. And you know, I'm so proud because this, uh, this tragedy, this, you know, we will pass through it, this calamity. Um, the whole world became Filipino and that really says a lot that, that travels far. <laughs> it's one for the history books. So uh, please don't lose hope because you know we're here to the detractors, the negative news, you challenge us. And to those doing the amazing work, you inspire us. Let's keep going. Don't give up. You know, we have a bright future ahead, I believe.